Hello, I'm Neil from SSL. I work with a team looking after new products. Firstly, a little bit of my background. I've been at Solid State Logic for 31 years, started as a service engineer installing 4000 mixing consoles, and I've pretty much spent my life with SSL's evolution of both digital and analog technology since. Today we're talking to you from SSL's product demonstration area, which is a suite of studios that we use for product evaluation. Um, and the product that we're talking to you about is a product called Origin. And one of the reasons it's called Origin is that it takes us right back to the early days of solid state logic. SSL, for those that don't know, was started by Colin Sanders. Colin had a record company and he built a recording studio to service that record company. Being an electronics engineer and an enthusiast for electronics, he designed the mixing consoles that went into those recording studios. Some of the technologies that were evolving at the time were things like inline mixing consoles. Colin's innovations were things like incorporating control of the tape machine into the console. So making the combination of a tape machine and a mixing console a much more productive space. We sort of thought, what do we need to do with Origin that's going to integrate and help bring a large format console and a workstation closer together? Now, we've already done quite a lot of that with some of our larger mixing consoles. There's an enormous amount of sophistication in terms of automation and recall, but all that brings uh, cost into the design. And in looking at Origin, we were thinking again about someone starting um, or or building their first recording studio or building a new recording studio and some of the economic challenges that they might face. So some of the ways that we could both take cost out of the design, but equally make the design work for that modern workstation environment. So that sort of set our project target. We were going to call the product Project Origin. Uh, and in some ways it looked backwards. It looked back at some of the analog designs that we had previously and it looks forward by using some modern circuit technology for the future. So why are we looking at um, analog designs at all? Well analog has become part of a way of working that uh, is fairly commonly referred to these days as hybrid workflow where some of the work is being done in a workstation and some of the work is being done on external analog processing. The features that make Origin great for use with workstations are We've got a really characterful mic pre as part of the design. So the, the mic pre can switch between a, a super linear low distortion mic pre to a very characterful driven uh, mic pre design. We've put uh, an E-series equalizer in it. An E-series, the E-series equalizer was probably the most popular of the 4,000 equalizer designs. Um, and so Origin has a faithful reproduction of that equalizer design in it. We've got some clever routing technologies which basically allow um, uh, electronic switching to make the routing very easy to use and we can route from the channel strip to buses or we can equally route from buses um, from a selection of channel strips. The circuit for the inline paths is novel in that it has an insert point in both the small fader path and in the large fader path. So this makes it very flexible when you've got a lot of inputs that you want to mix down and you've got a lot of processing that you want to add into those mixes. We've also designed quite a novel center section in that the center section is fairly modular. It's built around a 19 inch width format and this means that you can move the center section masters, so the master controls in the center section, to adapt for different priorities in the way that you work. If you're someone who's very analog focused, you can put analog processing in like 500 series racks, for example, into the center section above the master controls. Or equally, if you're someone who is working a lot with workstation controllers, you could reposition the master section so that there's a workstation controller above the faders. Basically, 19 inch width um, allows and a lot of sort of flexibility as to how you're using the center section. One other thing that we've designed in Origin is thinking about running costs. Startup costs are one thing, but running costs are another issue for um, studios. And in Origin, we've actually put some clever thinking into how the power supplies work. And what this basically means is that the console can go into a sleep state, either automatically or on demand. And in that state, it consumes a fraction of the electricity that it does when it's in its operating state. When the studio is not being used, the console can sit in a quiet state, but equally things like air conditioning can be switched off. We like to think that the thought processes and concepts behind Origin would be something that Colin would appreciate. It really takes us back to the early days of how machines and musicians work together to make a mixing session or a recording session happen. 
Thanks for watching this overview of Origin. If you'd like to know more information, then please check out our website for more content. Thank you.